G'day guys, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to do a very quick unboxing of the new re-release Kyosha Ultima. Um, I was a little bit slow getting it, but finally got one. <laughs> I would have seen it in my last video, or the one before, yeah. Um, anyway, so that's him. Uh, we'll crack it open and have a bit of a gander. I'm only going to do a, a very quick unboxing this time. Uh, I won't go into too much detail because I want to get building, I want to get it happening. And uh, so I plan to build it and have it finished by tomorrow night or New Year's Eve at least. Um, and so I'll go into more detail in, in the build video of the, the parts and so on. But as you can see, it all looks very pretty when you open the box. All light laid out nicely. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, so uh, straight away we've got the body. Very easy to trim that. Straight around the straight around the side and you cut out a you go up a little bit higher here. Too easy. Alright, uh, so we'll have a look over over this side. Get that out. Here we've got our bearings down the bottom. Got our bearings, got our uh, universal CVDs, uh, shock bodies, and we've got our uh, diff shafts, gears, final gears, counter gears, and the motor plate. Let's see that, I hope. <laughs> so yeah, I'll open all that, you know, when I do the build video. I did bring my knife, but I'll use it later. <laughs> yeah, we'll just tip this in. Find the stuff in here. That's it. Yep, that's empty. Alrighty, so first one, we've got a plastic bag. And it's got our uh, front and rear bulkheads, uh, gearbox, and uh, the wing stay and all of that. And some servo mounts. And over here we've got gear bags in there, so I'll get them out. Don't need that. Alrighty, I got bag F. It's got uh, some screws and stuff in it. Looking at the back. And the roof plate, of course, and the pinion gear. That's that one. And a spare parts bag. It's got some bits in there for the slipper clutch and so on. And over here we've got bag A. It's got the motor mount, uh, diff parts, slipper clutch, uh, well, slipper gasket, uh, yeah, the gaskets and stuff for the diffs and whatever. Or the diff. Yeah. Bag C. Looks like it's got some bits in there for the steering, the servo saver, and whatnot. And the uh, the hex adapters. And bag B, we've got what do we got in there? Got all our ball ends and things. A couple of shafts. And bag D. Bag D's basically screws and a few shafts and stuff. And it looks like the front axles. Alrighty, bag E. We've got some shock oil, uh, the shock springs, and some double sided tape. And what's that in there? Uh, the shock shafts and things. Too easy. Now I'll we'll crack this one open here. Nice. <laughs> Oops. There's a tire on the floor. One of the front tires, same as that one. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I've got some uh, some foams for the tyres. Looks like only rears. Yep, that's all right. And some rear tyres. They feel very grippy. Nice and soft and grippy. And we've got our old uh, old style wheels like the original. They're one piece of course, the old ones were three piece. Uh, got our chassis. Old aluminium. Same as the, uh, or very similar to the original. This one's got the uh, countersunk screw heads and stuff though. All the countersunk holes. The original didn't have that, they had little button head screws. Like, uh, like that. <laughs> Now we've got a rear wing. I don't use the polycarbonate wing anymore, they just use, uh, I think it's ABS or nylon. Feels like ABS. Saves you painting it. Good idea. <laughs> and a lot stronger than the uh, polycarbonate one. Now we're going to open this or we won't. Yeah, we'll crack it open. That's our plastic bag. And in here we've got our radio plate. Kind of similar to the original. Not the same, but just similar. Now we've got some cage parts. And this is different. The uh, front and rear shock towers. They used to be aluminium. Um, looking at it, I, I actually preferred the aluminium, but I know these are going to be much stronger and uh, they're not going to bend. Um, but I don't know. You just like the original look with the... Uh, I, I like that with the original alloy bits on it. Um, but yeah, I'm, they're certainly going to be a lot stronger. <laughs> and we've got our shock parts in there. Your collars and so on. And some front and rear wishbones. And what's that there? Can't actually see because of these lights. Anyway, so that's our front and rear arms. <laughs> and over here we've got a whole lot of shock pistons. And finally, some turnbuckle ends. Yeah, we'll go into the manual. That's pretty much it for the box. Didn't get it all out without wrinkling things. Got our battery straps. Should be pretty cool. Easier than using cable ties. <laughs> So we've got our menu. Yep, put this here, glue that there. Well, probably no glue, but you know what I mean. Stick that here and screw that there. <laughs> so, yep, that's that. And our decals. I've got two sheets here. So we've got all our decals for the, uh, the driver and... Uh, yeah, everything's there. We even got tyre stickers. Mm, don't know if I'll... Uh, I think I'll prefer to paint those, but whatever. At least they give you the option. And some decals for the car. And some little comical type ones. Pretty cool. So that's it. Um, that's all there is. <laughs> So yeah, I'll just uh, I'll lay these out and you can have a bit of a look and that's it. I'll get on with the build video and uh, hopefully have that out tomorrow. Uh, maybe the day after, whichever. Um, all right, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> um, leave a comment and a like and thumb down and thumb up or whatever you want to do. Um, 
subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll see you on the build video take it easy